For today's unboxing, I have a package from Portland Leather Goods. It's actually a purchase from Black Friday. Since they have moved their distribution center to Texas, it arrived extremely fast even though it was shipped with FedEx, I believe. I think it's like it was like two days. So the reason I got this not because it was good deal, but I've been wanting the tote in this color for quite a while. Last time when I got the mystery mystery tote plus small items, this this was one of the small items that came with it. I just love this pebbling on this leather. It has this deep brown color. And since I have this little cosmetic pouch from Portland Leather Goods, I have been one thing to get a full size tote in in this color and with this leather. Let's open it up. They usually come with this little leaflet and it has some yeah, lead, brief letter care information. They pack it pretty well. Oh, and I also purchased one of their tassel. I believe this is this is their Kenyan color. I think they are discontinuing this color. It's really nice leather tassel. I, I'm impressed. I like the size. So as you can see, compared to my hands, it's pretty big. So this is considered their full-size crossbody with zipper. It has a zipper closure. They have another option that's without the this zipper closure. So in inside of the bag, it has this their logo patch. On this little pocket, as you can see, the pebble texture on this leather is just simply gorgeous. Really beautiful. This is from the uh, almost perfect category. So a lot of time we don't know what that means. It as a consumer. It just you you get it for a better price so the price is cheaper for for the almost perfect category. So up front you have this big pocket doesn't have it doesn't have fit so this is actually the the third one the third one I have of this tote. I'm going to show you, also show you, let's put this aside. So this one is their, they call it groupy gray, it's their gray color. It's not really a suede texture, but your suede is 
Sway texture is the other side of the ladder. So as you can see, inside of it is the inside of it is the sway texture. But I believe this kind of texture is like they, they sand it down. It has this velvety velvety texture. And then the other one is this one is they are in their grisly color. This one actually smells really good. They all smell slightly different. Let's see if the cold brew color smell at all. Yeah, it smells pretty good. So as you can see, this one is a smoother texture and it's a little bit more structure, slightly more structure. And then this one is a little bit softer. Also, a tad lighter from the grizzly color as well. The cold brew is actually very soft. As you can see, it's very slouchy. I'll have to stuff it and reshape it a little bit because it probably distorted from from the shipping a little bit. I believe the gray one was the their uh, earliest earliest version. As you can see the the strap is they using this start start adjustment thing. And they they don't have another catcher here to catch the this this flap if you if you adjust it to a shorter length. And then the strap for the grizzly color, they change it to this buckle, buckle belt feature. And then it has it's this loop catcher thing that just hold on to the extra length of this strap. So I definitely prefer to have this so that the tail end is not flapping everywhere. Same as this one. So this is their newer design. If you bought one recently, you probably are getting this buckle belt feature. So I have had the other two for, for months now and I do use them regularly. I don't use them every day but I use them enough to, to be able to tell that if I like the bag or not. And since I, I just got the third one, you probably can guess that I, I, I did like it and I do like it. At first, I was thinking, I, would, I was hoping that they would glaze their, the edge of their ladder or at least burnish it so that it looked more defined but after buying so many bags in the last few months I realized that bags with glazing they tend to crack over time even even if you bought you know those coated canvas bags from Louis Vuitton over time those those parts that bend frequently they, the glazing tend to feel first so i guess i see the point that's why why they decided to go with this design decision one thing you save cost second things it's less likely your customer go back to you say hey can you please repair this because as they do guarantee their back so so that way it's less likely the bag needs repair because there's no glazing to repair on the bag. And at the end I feel like both both bags could be could be good. It depends on how you like the look, you know. And sometimes you you want to carry a bag that look more refined, more elegant and and with this with this you do able to dress up a little bit depends on your outfit 
and it's so simple and straightforward it just blend in with whatever outfit you have one thing though even since it doesn't have fit at the bottom and it does have this folded folded corner design you will likely to have some kind of corner wear it's not so obvious on this one and it's it's okay on my grizzly but you can definitely see some discoloration so i would be careful with how where you put it if you bought their tote bag because or any or any company if you have tote bag that with this kind of folded bottom design then you may want to hang out your bag instead of leave it on the floor frequently because you are likely to develop corner wear fast so if you have seen my other review i have also bought totes from uh, so many uh, from Parker Clay, from Go Forth Goods, they all different in their own way. I believe all these bags are not vegetable tents. I think they are chrome tent leather, and the leather thickness are all different on this bag as well. I love the leather on Go Forth Goods, but sometimes it could be a little heavy, and if you carry a lot of stuff and if if you personally have you know back pain or something so that that may not be a good option i found that with portland leather goods the thickness and the weight is about right it's it's thick enough that you feel like it it could be durable and it could last for a long time but not so thick that you feel like when you pick up this bag you feel like oh this is so heavy it's it's the way it's just about right and with this crossbody top I like that the branding is minimal like you don't even quite able to see from the pocket here the more obvious branding on this bag is the inside is the inside they have this kind of a cute logo patch on the in the on the pocket So not sure you can tell earlier I was showing you the bag is not lined so it's this sway leather so with this kind of bag you either use a bag organizer or you have to be careful what you put in your bag because any ink pen lipstick or any liquid is likely to not just stay in the bag it may even seep through and show on the outside so you do want to be careful with things you put in and for me i prefer the zipper closure since they also offer the one without the zipper closure you can choose that if you don't like uh, if you don't like this flap that kind of bother you assessing your bag but for me i like to close it that way people can't reach into your bag or it's less likely things things fell off so if you look at the side it actually has this rivet that on both sides the rivet is to to hold on to the to the d-ring inside kind of a kind of a hidden d-ring let me try to show you hopefully you can see it the d-ring here so this is to to, for you to clip on the crossbody strap so personally I I don't always use their crossbody strap if I'm out for a long time because it's on the thinner side and it doesn't have a solder pad so I did get one of these straps from Amazon that, that actually match, match up the color pretty well as you can see so I like that with thicker straps it's more comfortable and 
you can carry it for a long time without waiting on the sh on your shoulder. And if sometimes I just go out for lunch or something, I would just carry it with the shoulder with the shoulder strap, and it's pretty comfortable and. Most of the time, it stay on my shoulder fine and easy to get in and get out of the bag. Anything you know. So overall, I think this is this is very well made. I only hope that they would make a tote bag in even bigger size. Maybe call it XL or something because maybe you all, you have heard that. Bigger bags are going to back in trend soon, so so we'll see. Maybe they will see this video and create another bigger product. Since recently they did create a medium size that um, in between this one and the mini. So yeah, first impression looking at this crossbody top in cold blue color. It's a little bit more slouchy than I expected. I thought it would be more rigid and more stiff, but it seems very soft. Smell really good. Let's compare. The color on this pouch is actually even darker. I wish I would get the tote in this batch of color, but it seems the tote is slightly lighter in color. If Portland Leather Good see this video, please please make one with deeper, darker color. So I would I would prefer this texture very much. It it almost remind me a little bit of Bison Leather. A little bit. So as usual, I always happy with my purchase with Portland Leather Good. This this one is from the from the almost perfect category, but I don't see anything. I don't see anything that make me think that is defect or less than perfect. Other than maybe the the. The leather texture is slightly different on the pockets. The veining on the pocket is really obvious, and I love it. It's, it shows the the natural patterns from the cowhide, and it's really beautiful. I just like it that way, but I understand it may not be for everyone. So you may not. You may want to be aware if you order from them because I have heard that sometimes you do get pebble leather that with slightly different size of pebbling texture on on each side since they are connected with two piece of two piece of leather so if you get one from them you you may want to be aware that could happen so so yeah this is my unboxing today and a and a brief review on this crossbody touch. So you can you can add a tassel. I love them as as you can see. I have three of them. So if you have any question or you want to know more about these bags, feel free to leave a comment and let's talk. Bye.